Good day, good day. How the hunk are ya? Yeah, this is your friend Dan O, and welcome to Roverland, the channel that's all about everything and anything Land Rover. <laughs> yeah, how the hunk are ya? Woo! All right, hey, listen, I got something crazy for you today. Um, we're gonna be taking a look at uh, something that I uh, enjoy collecting um, as if you follow me on this channel, you'll you'll know. If you look at uh, any of my videos, you'll know. Uh, anyway, it's off uh, the beaten path Land Rover models. And as you see, this is a little display case that I built. Um, it is, if you, if you don't recognize it, it is a uh, jewelry box. And it have a little uh, spindly, spinny thing, so you... The ladies could open it up and, uh, you know, put their necklaces in there and they could see it. Well, I took the little spinny, spinny thing out and uh, glued in me some uh, uh, glass shells and uh, even uh, put some grass on the bottom there. Yeah, let's zoom in there. Yeah, a little <laughs> craft crafting uh, paper. Uh, glued in some there that anyway all right well that's that so what we're looking at today is uh this little bugger here <laughs> take a look at this guy this is a crazy little bugger uh i i think i found one of these in the wild at uh i don't know some something whether it was uh um you know I, I don't think I bought it at a thrift store or anything. I think it was a swap meet or something like that. I think I got one of these. But the rest of them I bought online on eBay. Um, interestingly enough, it really doesn't have... Um, see if we adjust our lighting here a little bit. See if we can see in there. We should be able to. Let's zoom in a little bit. Get some lighting going here. Oh, oh, oh hold on. Oh, hold on. <laughs> the light's getting away from me. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so let's see what it's got to say in there. I, it says something. Yeah, Hong Kong. It says Hong Kong. Made in Hong Kong. Can you read that? There you go. I'm trying a little bit different lighting uh, situation here. Keep it from bouncing to yellow or not. But uh, anyway, that's uh, that's what we're looking at today. And um, I really don't know much about this. Now, when I got this one, I'm like, hmm, there's some holes there. There's a hole on the top. There's got to be more to this. Well, anyway, let's uh, try the old uh, computer thing again. I know you guys really like that when I do that. We'll uh, dim some of the lights here so we can get in on this. But anyway, I found on um, eBay somebody that was selling one of these. And uh, I didn't buy it because I, I think it was kind of an outrageous price or something. I don't know. But uh, there's the packaging. That's what I found for packaging. Uh, that is the truck. We'll take a look at it. I'm not sure where these were originated. This was, uh, I believe, a U.S. seller. and uh, But this is the packaging that they, they came in. So if you recognize that, hey, comment down below. And now this gets into the uh, models that we're looking at. And uh, yeah, just a, a really cool little model. And uh, so I knew it was the... The model that we were looking at because well that that's it right there because that's the one I got <laughs> so let's take a look at what I got here all right all right so like I say I got uh, this one here and uh, I don't know which one I got first but I'm pretty sure it was uh, one of these uh, plain Jane ones you know and uh, then we just took off from there but it's a it's a really uh, uh, pretty decent model. If we can uh, focus in now, that would be wonderful. 
All right. But as you see, we've got, uh, we're just going to take a look at this plain Jane one. But you can see the uh, lines for the doors. They've even got some detailing there for like the tie downs and stuff like that. Um, you know, the, quite a quite a little bit of angle there for the <laughs> cab top. But uh, Series 1, the old eggs on the grill there. Pretty nifty, pretty nifty. Knife edge to the uh, front there. But uh, yeah, it's it's got a pretty good uh, pretty good details on it, and so like a big, huge honking uh, trailer hitch on it. But yeah, there you go. So that was the basic model that I got, and uh, then I, I you know picked up another one or whatnot. Basic uh, clip-on wheels. Got the only metal part is the axle, and then they just form these uh, nice heavy-duty. Uh, Rugged off-road wheels. Look at that. That'll turn some d mud there. That'll turn the dirt. But anyway, so then I think that one of the next ones I found was like, hey, there you go. It's got a little canvas top to it. You know, that's pretty cool. And, you know, obviously that bugger will snap right off. Yeah, sure, snap right off. I don't think I've ever taken it off. But uh, there's two pegs that go in them back holes. And then... Uh, the peg there that kind of holds on to the uh, rear window so it stays in place. See that? I like this. It's got, you know, the, for being, I don't know how much they were, you know, new, but you can see the packaging and stuff we looked at. You know, just a little baggy with a folded older, folded over cardboard, you know. Uh, you know, look, it's even got the uh, corner flaps on it. Just like the old Series 3 I had canvas top. It had the old folded over canvas straps there. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Let's see if we can get this back in there. Boy, I don't know. That was It was tough getting out. I don't know if we'll get it, get it back in. <laughs> ah. But anyway, so that, that's another variation. I thought that was going to be about it right there. Uh, I'm going to have to do a little bit of monkeying around. Oh, no, I got her. I got her. Look at there. Hey, if a kid can do it, I can do it. Yeah, these wheels, the, the axles are a little bit long sometimes. <laughs> kind of gives it kind of a cartoony look to it. But uh, well, like I say, it's got some pretty good details on it for being uh, injected mold plastic. Um, so the next one that I bought, I think I bought this in a pair. But then I'm like, hey, look at there. It's got a crane thingy. And this is a separate little piece that moves up and... Uh, moves around this spins around this there's a big hole in the in the back that uh, that sits on and that spins around and then supposedly yeah that goes up and down look at the ingenious you know I'm gonna say that these were probably less than a dollar you know but look at the ingenious you know engineering <laughs> for a little bugger like that. Yeah, the one we saw in the package, it was like that. They sold them like that, you know, to kind of keep them in the, in there. But, uh, yeah, really kind of cool. They're just... But, like I say, I collect these because, you know, you can go on eBay and you can, uh, you know, type in Hot Wheels, Land Rover, and you can buy, you know, all day long. But you can't really type in, you know... I mean, it's, you know... <laughs> plastic Land Rover toys, you know, and, uh, they're hard to find and, and, you know, they were disposable. So they would, people threw them away, you know, kids played with them, broke them, and then they were gone the next day. So these are kind of some of the harder models that, you know, I, I like to collect. Uh, and I, I kind of kind of pay a little bit too much for them probably. So here's one. This is the only odd variation that I have. It's the same, uh, same company, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Hong Kong, made in Hong Kong, and but it's red versus the yellow. And then this has got some kind of a goofy clown looking guy. Circus. Oh, look at that. The mouth says circuit. Do the eyes and nose say something? World, world circus. Look at that. I did not know that. World circus. And he's got, I don't know, whatever they call that thing with the big horn thing on 
<laughs> Not a xylophone. <laughs> I don't know, a trumpet like looking thing, but look at there. World Circus. That's kinda that's kinda neat. So there must be something. I I really didn't you know, I, I don't have much luck. Uh oh that one the the toe hitch is kinda broke down on that one. I really don't have much luck on uh, YouTube and, and uh, Google and eBay and stuff like that trying to find information on that. It was kind of a fluke thing that I was, uh, I came across that one that was in the package and uh, I took a screenshot while I was scrolling through on my phone and put it on the old computer there so we could take a look at it. But, but there you go. That's uh, my collection of these. Uh, I suppose it could be a one of but it's not because I got a couple of them and I got a couple variations, but it's the only one model I have of that, but it's kind of cool. So I thought I'd do a little special on that. All right, well, there you go, folks. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, if you have some of these, if you know where the, the origin of uh, this uh, model comes from, comment down below. Yeah, go ahead, comment down below. Do you have any of these? Have you seen any of them? Are they a stateside thing, or are they uh, over in the European market more? But uh, there you go. That's my uh, highlight video for today. Nice little plastic toy. <laughs> but it's definitely a Land Rover. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks a lot, guys. Remember, friends, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.